there is no evidence of this exiled god's existence. So this is all just rumors. Uh, nothing concrete, nothing to substantiate, no clues, no evidence about there is talk that there is this exiled god, uh, I believe we just heard his name, Astra Kohor, or something like that, let's just call him Astra. The only way to reach this god, uh, Chitrax realized, was through the mighty power of a wish spell. Uh, moreover, the, the Zill knew where he could find one at minimal cost. Aware of the world's largest dungeon and its original purpose, he suspected the Devil's Vault that still contained a powerful pit fiend named Kator. Wow, a pit fiend, honestly? Wow, I guess you, yeah, you would need to slay a pit fiend first before you got to a solar angel under demonic influence. You, you would probably slay a pit fiend or a battle or before getting to solar angel. Wow, I always forget about those. His name's Kator. As if, yeah. My plan to be certain, Chitrax has been especially careful not to reveal the truth behind his goals, for he knows breaching the walls of the visit would surely result in the deaths of all his servants. The wicked Zill traveled a myriad of material planes, but Atlas, for all his searching, he could not locate the place. That might be a typo. I think it's supposed to say, alas, or maybe it does say alas, but alas, it can kind of look like Atlas when the uh, font is all scrunched tiny and pixelized and you can't really specifically make out the details per letter of the word you're saying and you're sort of guessing at it. To me, it looks like it says Atlas, but uh, maybe that's just what we're thinking. It's also amazing how we can't really keep track of the words we say at each other and, you know, how much of this is just fulfilling uh, the air with one's voice, you know? Yes, I think it was alas. But why would you say, but alas? I don't know, I have to look up the technical usage uh, function of the word alas. A number of dusty tomes spoke eloquently of it in frustration. He tortured and maimed many a sage and scholar in his efforts to locate the massive complex until finally one brutalized soul gave him a name, Alchemian. Even Chitrax had heard of this ancient lore master, but he had believed, like most beings in the plains, the old man dead. He quickly tracked down the sage, finding him deep within the astral plane. That makes sense. Of course, it's going to be there. After torturing the old man for two years, the sage finally revealed the location of the dungeon. Not trusting the information, Chitrax took the crippled scholar with him. When they finally reached the sprawling complex, he killed the old man and left his bones to rot on the surface, before descending into the dungeon's tunnels. Unable to locate the vault on his own, he suspected it remained concealed and intact. He also realized he could never hope to uncover the vault on his own, as the labor would be too overwhelming for just the one creature, so he turned to the Duro. Duro, those are uh, deep dwarves, I think. Duro, for assistance. In their warns, they had uncovered extensive veins of true silver, a substance especially useful for controlling and containing devils. That makes sense. Uh, true silver would be used for infernal purposes. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Hmm. 